Kung gusto mga pirata, Lian here and today I will be teaching you guys how to add reflections on water using Photoshop. Let's go! Okay, first thing that you are gonna need is an image of something with water, obviously. Also, an image of what you want to put on the water so that it has a reflection. So, in this case, I will be putting this deer, as you can see here. Alright, so we are going to create a reflection of the deer onto the water. So first thing you gotta do guys is click on that deer and press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Okay, so let's rename deer copy, um, darn it, rename it reflection. Okay, now that you have renamed it, drag it underneath the deer layer. Okay, press Ctrl T to transform it and then flip vertical. Alright, press enter and then just drag it down. Okay, drag it so that it meets the other part of the deer. Okay, next step guys is to click filter. Alright, click blur and then Gaussian blur. Okay, so this would require a little bit more finessing. Okay, so to make this look right, you would have to match the blurriness of the reflections of the water right here with the blurriness of the, of the deer. I think for radius of 4 pixels is fine click ok and there we go okay so next next step is to darken the image so in order to do this we are going to just click on brightness and then apply that to the reflection layer just make it darker a little bit okay like so okay so now that you have that down guys what you have to do is to burn that area a little bit so dodge and burn tool Click O, like so, and we're going to burn um, the part that is like near the deer or this this part right here. I'll, I'll just show you guys on the, on the screen. So we're going to burn this part right here. So what the burn tool does is it darkens a certain part of the image um, where you apply it. So for this instance, we're going to choose um, mint tones range. So we'll just burn that part of the reflection. There we go. Burn that part. There. I think we burned too much. Alright. So now that you have that down, what you would have to do is to create the ripples. Okay. So as you can see here in the water, there's like ripples right here. Okay. In this area, ripples. That part, there's ripples there. And also that part, there's ripples. So what we are going to do is we are going to smudge those areas. So click the smudge tool. It's right here near the blur tool. So right click the blur tool and select the smudge tool. It's the it's the finger looking thing like like that. Okay. And then what we are going to do is we are going to smudge those edges. Okay. So you could play around with the smudge strength right here. But uh, let's just try the 50% strength first. Okay, so I think 50% strength is fine. There we go. Just just smudge it a bit. Also adjust the brush. The closer to the foreground you get, the larger the brush should be. Alright, okay. So just play around with it like so. Also the darn. Don't forget the other side. Like like so, like there we go. Okay. And there we go. Alright guys, now that you have the reflection down, all you have to do is mask this layer. Okay, so we have to like, okay, let's invisibilize that first. Mask this layer so that the man is showing. So, so I've masked that part of the image beforehand. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so I think the reflection's looking fine. I, I think we need more like, a um, little bit smudging over here. Okay, and more smudge. Alright, so if you're not yet happy with that, you could always darken it. Um, I discovered that darkening the image helps with the illusion that is this a reflection on the water. So yeah, just play with the darkness a little bit. Alright, so I think the darkness is fine. Okay, so the next step that we're going to do in order to blend this um, reflection onto the water and make it more realistic is we are going to erase a little bit of this part. Okay, so make sure that your brush is at somewhere around 20% opacity, okay? And also make sure that the hardness is at 0%. There we go. 
Okay, start erasing the reflection. Alright guys, now that we have erased the reflection, I think um, we, we are still going to need some more like finessing of this part here and also also this part. So we are going to smudge that part again. It's a little bit smaller smudges. Okay, there we go. Alright. This part also needs smudges. I think that's pretty good, guys. Alright, guys, so that was how to create reflections on water using Photoshop. So, um, it was pretty fast. I think we did it in under, like, under 5 minutes or so. Some, somewhere around that area, 5 minutes or something. So, just in case you guys need to create a reflection on the water for some reason, like you have a vampire friend. Anyways, if, you, if, you're, if your friend's a vampire, he wouldn't even show up on the, on the image. I don't know, guys. So, that was the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe down below for more Photoshop videos. I do this Photoshop tutorial thing weekly, so yeah, if you if you would love to learn things like this in Photoshop, subscribe down below and also leave a comment. Also join the notification squad. I'm not sure if that's a thing yet. So, anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace. <laughs>